Hi, I'm Nick Kuyper, and this is my Bulldog Story. I saw Jurassic Park when I was 11, and that kind of really, I guess, got me to the point where I really knew what I wanted to do. So I took my first class, it was a field production class, um, with Avid, and in four weeks, it was a crash course in how to use the program. It was interesting because we were using tape and we were shooting on black and white cameras and you're learning to white balance, you're learning to expose, you're learning to do all those things on uh, these big bulky cameras. And uh, after about a few weeks in that four week program, I really kind of figured it was the right, the right choice. So I applied to 9 and 10, and the day after I applied, they said, hey, you've got the job. And I ended up getting a third shift internship cutting news for the morning show. And that was the year where basically the entire economy collapsed. The boss invited me to dinner and said, hey, we're going to have to let you go. So that layoff actually propelled me to finally buckle down and say, hey, I'm gonna try to get my master's degree. And I got a graduate assistantship at uh, Central Michigan University. I think the most proud of a film I've been is a documentary that I started in grad school, which is called Preemie. So we featured Molly, my daughter, uh, and kind of talked about you know, what it's like being someone who's living with having a premature infant. The program aired on PBS, we were actually able to apply for an Emmy. We got all dialed up and we went out to this ceremony in Detroit and uh, they called our name. They said Preemie. And the Emmy goes to Preemie. Yes! Yes! And uh, we both went upstairs up to the stage and we accepted the award. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty crazy. The coolest moment was uh, telling Molly. And so Molly's like, you know, basically it's her Emmy. You know, it was, a, it was a heck of an experience, and I think it's probably one of the greatest things I've done in my career. My professor at the time called me up and said, hey, uh, one of our professors is going on leave, uh, is going on a sabbatical, and hey, would you be interested in teaching a class for us? And I said, yeah, sounds like a great idea. Um, sounds fun. And so I think probably within two weeks, I was teaching the class, and I really liked it. And Fred Wyman at the time, who was my, my older professor, um, he said, hey, you should think about teaching. And so that was kind of that, um, that catalyst um, to kind of push me in that direction. I think the best way to get a point across to a student varies. It really depends on what kind of content you're trying to teach. Um, I would say that lecture is probably the lowest point of trying to get that information out because you know, hearing someone just talk about information is not always the best way to learn it. So I think the hands-on approach is probably the best way. Uh, there's a lot of changes on the horizon, all for I, the good, I think. Um, but the biggest thing is not to let that technology kind of influence or degrade the story. Good storytelling doesn't really change, even though technology might.